fourth round. Yay! Well, this was this has been an interesting brewing experience, even if the deck's not necessarily doing that great. That last match, I definitely failed that game. Um, if I'd killed the Salumgar, we would have had time to just keep generating value. So, I definitely know that I lost that last match due to a misplay there. I should have played the Nissa and just... Worst case, I could either fetch to try to flip the Nissa or do anything really that was different. Alright, well, anyways. This hand is the dream of a lot of mana. Yeah, this hand goes nutty. So, Flooded Strand into basic? Or what? You can get a tap plan. Yeah, because they're not coming in tapped anyways. Right. So we get to go turn two Rattleclaw into turn three Kiora into turn four Torn Elemental, I guess. Hmm. Yes. Go to four. Wow, he is mulliganing hard. Okay, keeps it five, and puts a card on the. Bottom! Okay. <laughs> Alright. It's okay, we'll go Mountain Sorcerer and we'll be dead. He will, won't he? It'll be like Fetchland Mountain... Okay! <laughs> the pass through turn one to that. Meh. You gotta do what you gotta do. The pass through turn two head. Okay. Um, I have a threat. It's a mystic that pretends to do things. This thing goes off at minus eight. It takes forever. Yup. And he scoops. All right. <laughs> Yay! Game one. <laughs> uh, submit. So, yeah. he, okay, here's the thing worth considering. He was willing to keep a zero land hand. That means he's on an aggro deck. It could be. Or no control deck would ever be willing to keep a zero land hand. They'd just mull to four. Right? Might bring in the gate. That's it. Just as a precautionary card? Yeah. Take out... Ruinous Path. Sure. Why not? Hmm. Okay. Well, this is. In Ugh. Now we get to play the mulligan game. Whee! Whee! It's spinning. Actually, this is fine. That's pretty. Don't easy. want that one. No. That's not castle for a long time. Yeah, although Tass here. Yeah, fine. Put it on the bottom. I like Treasure Cruise, but th you're right. This hand just can't cast Treasure Cruise forever. Evolving Wilds. That's interesting. I don't know whether to be like skeptical, worried, because that Evolving Wilds is like occasionally played in Red Green Landfall. It's Landfall or it could be Jessica Black. A or Jeskai the Black does... Black, or a five-color control deck. They sometimes play, like, one Evolving Wilds. I'm but putting my bets on five-color control. Mountain. <laughs> I told you, Mountain. Next I'm turn, still on five -color Forest. Control. Snapping Gnarled. Uh, dead Den Protector. Whatever. Point being. The point's the same. It's a red-green landfall deck. Kill it dead. Kill it. Kill it till it's dead. And then kill it some more after that. <laughs> Gotta make sure. Just want to make certain that it is really dead. Not just sort of dead. Really dead. Hmm. Look at the land. Lame. Alright. Guess I'm gonna go this into Nyssa so that way I can have a land for next turn. Hey, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Highland seems fine. Ow.
This way we can play Tassigar next turn. Yep. I suppose if Nissa blocks, then we can go Tassigar plus play Lumbering Falls? Mm -hmm. Worth considering at the very least. Do I block? Any Probably spells? Not. I don't think so. I think we just take it. I mean, he needs target scan or pump spell. Pretty much. Suppose he could go battle rage, then become immense, and then we just die. Which seems to be the theme of today. Just saying. Flavor of the day apparently is red green landfall. This is match three versus them. We still four. die if that happens, though. That's oh, what I said. We get trampled alive. Yeah, so we might just be dead here. I'm F6. <laughs> Flavor of the day. Dead before you can really think about it. Yep, we're just dead. Cool. Yay! <laughs> Gotta love that, right? Fuck. Sure. <laughs> well. Oh boy. Ultimate prices, ultimate charm, duresses, fuck yous, fuck yous more, fuck you even more, and fuck you the most. <laughs> Something like that, I think. Painful truce. Oh, right, that's what it was. Painful truce. I mean, the Nisa is still better than the Treasure Cruise, though, I think. Just as a creature. I think one Nisa is fine, two Nisa is just unnecessary. Treasure Cruise can sometimes just be very good. It's gonna be hard to cast two against this deck. True. Hmm. Maybe we, I think we want that Sagu Mauler then, because it's the face down fit. Because if it does come face up for some random ass reason, our opponent can't get through that. Sure. Not easily, at least. <sighs> it's, yeah, it's too slow. Yeah. Okay, this is workable. That'll do. That'll do. That'll do. It's got removal. It's got creatures. It's got another land on top, which is really nice. Because I can fetch a swamp just straight up with that, so we don't have to take damage from Landwar waste. You want to get Sunken Hollow with that one? Um, so no. We have Rattleclaw Mystic. Blue mana. Well, we got Rattleclaw Mystic, but... You, just, you don't have to take one for Radical Mystic anyways. We have Canopy Vista. Fair. And that way if it dies, we can get blue still. Alright, alright, I agree with you on this one. Although if it doesn't die, we just get Swamp because then we can place a DC. Right. The goal is to place a DC next turn, so... <sighs> Boy. Alright, alright. I think this is going to work out fine. Maybe. That thing's already big. Taking three. Taking at least three. <laughs> he can't get untapped uh, red sources turn three. So no, he can't, which is actually pretty nice. I am not blocking. <laughs> So how many times are we going to have to play against red deck? And by red deck, I mean red-green of some form. Snapping Marlid. Alright. So we want Sadissi to hit something here. So... Yeah, I'm going to go like this, so that way I don't have to take any additional damage to play Sadissi. So, hit us a creature, Sadissi. Mill, mill hard. I'm gonna pop this out because why not? <clears throat> Come on. Death Mist Raptor, Rattleclaw, Rattleclaw. Well, alright. <laughs> Could be worse. <laughs> yeah. And we got blockers now, which is nice. He has to base it. He doesn't have a red source at the moment, which is fine. Oh, no, he does. Alright, never mind. So, fetch line. So, you just like 
throw a zombie in front of Scythe Leopard, make him use Antarchus Command. Yeah, so yeah, throw a zombie in front of Scythe Leopard, take, plan on taking three, make him use Antarchus Command, and then next turn we have both Ultimate Price and Murderous cut up. Yep. Seems pretty solid. Because he doesn't have a way to kill Sadissi, so... Sadissi just gets to grind value for days. <clears throat> seems seems alright. I like this situation. Even though, again, it is match 3 versus Red Green Landfall, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Sometimes you have to put up with Infinity Red Green Landfall. Wee. Wee, it's spitting. <sighs> Rick and Crap. Alright, so what could he do here? Uh, you said... A Tarkus Command is definitely something, if he swings with the Scythe Leopard. If he doesn't bother to swing with the Scythe Leopard, then we actually just get to do basically whatever. Yep. So, that is definitely something. You can always just chuck the zombie in front anyways, regardless. Right, right. <laughs> I, I can chuck the zombie in front of anything. Um, kind of curious what's taking so long. It's taking two minutes... There we go. Oh, he has roast. Well, that's sad. Uh, sure. Sure. That's sad, but it's not end of the world. I guess I'll just take the three this time, then. No reason not to. Because now I get to... Okay, and another Scythe Leopard. I love the myth... myth yeah, I can't speak. Mismatched Scythe Leopards. Oh, duress. I think I might just duress him. Let's just see what you got going on here. By the way, become immense Titan Strength with Targus Command. Well then. Targus Command's the most powerful card. Plus the others just get <coughs> blown out by one of those. So. Well then. What a degenerate deck. Well, I mean, clearly it has some level of degeneracy because it gets played a lot online. So you know. And people like to play whatever they can jam the most matches in the least amount of time with. So. Yep. Guess we just sit back. He doesn't have a land, so he's not going anywhere. <laughs> unless he draws a land, at which point then he get, tries to get in with everything. We block appropriately. He then goes ahead and does like a become immense thing, and then he gets blown out by a removal spell, and so forth and so forth and so forth. He How lucky. <sighs> Because it's a fetch land. <laughs> right. It's like, not even just a land. A fetch land. Maybe I just don't block. No. That can't be right. Gotta block with at least a zombie, right? Because if I don't block, he makes it 3, 6, 10. Yeah, that's, that's not acceptable. Throw a zombie under a bus. I guess we... Th Make him use his fetch. Yeah. Really. So he'll use his fetch. Look to deal a seven. He might even try his become immense, at which point we blow out what he's become immense thing. He could do both. He could do both. He let the first one resolve. See if he does anything else. Um, depends on what the first one is. Because if it's become immense... I can... Uh, priority gets a little weird, but yeah. Because if you ultimate price the one you... Like, if you Titan Strength, and then you ultimate price it, you... Like, this is 10 damage, which is still fine. We're alive right now. <laughs> Do I kill this? No, because then he... Hits us for 10. Yeah. I mean, I think you kill that, because then you have Murder's Cut next turn. Fair. So we go to 2... Yep. He hits us for ten. We can block one thing and then we can murder us cut the other next turn, yeah. Alright. Shame this can't fetch black. If this could fetch black, that'd just be so nice. Alright, so we're going to two. He has no cards in hand. 
Uh, Raptor. What can I do with you, Raptor? I can go to one. I can play the Raptor, and then I can have Murderous cut up. No, you can't cast Murderous cut now. Why not? Swamp. Because, okay, I see a swamp. My bad. <laughs> All's well. Uh, no, don't do that. <laughs> Almost did that very badly. Forgot we fetched that. Yes, we fetched okay. this one. He will Everything draw, is well. As long as he does not draw a command. Tarkus Command. Just don't draw um, the freaking Tarkus Command. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. <laughs> calling it. Stop calling it against us. That's a bad one. I don't like it when you do that. The Red Decks always have the lucky draws. What are you going to do? Not die? Ideally? Attack with both. Do it. Do it. No. Alright. Nice. Yay. We have no way to gain life, do we? Nope. That's why I suggested feed the clan. Because we need some life gain. Yeah. Okay. That doesn't do a whole heck of a lot, except that we can, I guess, murder one guy next turn and murder a guy the turn after. Or, yeah, something like that. So, just don't draw Tarkus Command for a while. Please? Appreciate it. Sure. Swift Spear is fine. Yay. So, block here. Hmm. Block there. Block there. Yep. Murderous cut that. We lose access to blue, which is awkward, but meh. And he drew an Atarkus command anyways. <laughs> okay, must be nice. Must be nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sure. Sure. <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. I hate that deck. Alright, so we got one last match with this league, and then we're all done with it. So far, we've played against... Red Green Landfall and lost. Played against Red Green Landfall and won. Played against Jeskai Black and lost. We Played against Red Green Landfall and lost. Holy hell, this is annoying. <laughs>